Well, did life exist on Mars? This is a question to which all of us want answers to. Well, an American rover built by NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab has been driving around and studying Mars for over three years now. To, let, to tell us more about this mission and the Perseverance uh, rover, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to Dr. Swati Mohan, the chief engineer of the NASA JPL Mars Launch System. Take a look. For more than six decades, humanity has been exploring the red planet because of how similar it is to Earth and why it's our closest neighbor. To tell us more about this, Dr. Swati Mohan from NASA's JPL. Ma'am, three years for Perseverance, your pet project on Mars. So what are the major milestones and how close are we to understanding the existence of fossils on Mars? Perseverance has had a great run over its three years in Mars. It's been able to collect uh, about 23 samples of Mars of various different types. But it's really only when we bring those samples back here to Earth that we'll be able to unleash the entire arsenal of the scientific techniques that we have on Earth to answer the question of whether or not we've found the signs of past life on Mars. Some of the milestones that this mission has accomplished over the three-year period. Uh, so Perseverance has been able to collect the 23 samples. It's created a depot on Mars for the first set of samples. Uh, it's been able to have technology demonstration missions like the MOXIE instrument, which successfully proved it could convert uh, Martian atmosphere into oxygen on Mars. And then it had a ride-along passenger called Ingenuity, which is the first helicopter to actually ever fly outside of Earth, which was a great milestone in terms of technology advancement. Over the last six decades, the exploration journey has been such that you want to reach an end goal, which is the crude exploration of Mars, right? So for that, you'll have to bring samples back. So tell us about the mission to bring back samples. NASA, ESA is working on it. So Perseverance was the first leg of Mars sample return where it uh, went to Jezero Crater and selected samples that could potentially hold the signs of past life. In order to really determine whether those samples have uh, signs of past life, we really need to bring it back to Earth. To do that, we need to send uh, another mission that will land. It needs to have a rocket that will be able to uh, include the samples and get the samples off the surface of Mars. Th those samples then need to be uh, collected by yet another uh, orbital mission that will take the samples, leave Martian orbit, uh, and return from Mars to Earth before we can get the samples back into the Earth-Moon system. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.